I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm vlogging today because I'm not prepared. I don't know what to film. And here we are. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? If you're new here, my name is Danny Christine. I'm a childcare business owner, consultant, and wannabe lifestyle content creator here on YouTube. And you could really help me out with that by scrolling down and clicking that subscribe button to join the Danny Christine Click. And if you're interested in daycare consultations or just daycare related content, preschool, childcare, all that jazz, you can follow me on Instagram at Danny Christine Consulting as well. If you hear this annoying humming noise in the background, it's because the lawn mowers have no respect for me and my filming schedule or lack thereof. If anybody is wondering what style of braids I have in my hair, they're called Knotless Goddess Braids. I got them done here in Philly by a local hair braider. My scalp has been a little itchy and they're definitely fresh braids so it's not time to wash my hair yet. But to soothe the itchiness, the only oil that I think I have that might help is this Jamaican black castor oil with peppermint. Black castor oil isn't really like what you would use for itchiness, but I know peppermint can provide some sort of like stimulating relief. What I need to get is tea tree oil. I have a whole bunch of essential oils, coconut, vitamin E, black castor, peppermint, um, I don't know, lots more. But before doing my makeup, the first thing that I do when it's time to get glammed up is my edges. My edges need to be laid at all times. What I usually use on my edges is this, got to be glue, um, Invincible Styling Gel. Recently, sometimes I've been switching it out for this Dr. Miracles Extra Holding Gel. Like this makes it easy to shape my edges, but this is gonna hold them down for days. <laughs> I haven't tried to use them together. We're gonna try it today. To be honest with you guys, um, <laughs> my edges, turn out differently every time I do that. This came from Amazon. It was like a dollar, less than two dollars on Amazon. I have been doing hair videos and stuff on this channel for like, what, six, seven years before the comeback that's happening right now. My channel first started off with hair videos and you would think by now I could at least master some edges, but no, no, no. <laughs> Then I take this satin wrap thing. It's by the brand Ali Pearl. I also got this on Amazon. Don't remember how much it was. Might look it up, might link it in the description. I take it, wrap it around my edges and hold it down on there while I do my eyebrows. Eyebrows is one of my strengths, I would say and many other people would say. I don't know if you guys are gonna be hating in the comment section, but I get complimented on my eyebrows specifically a lot once they're done. I am not a beauty YouTuber. Nor can I multitask because I royally, royally up my eyebrow just now. No, my eyebrows, I don't play with my eyebrows, so give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. They're a little thick. They're a little thick today, but it's fine. Um, I just realized that I'm running behind schedule. I actually have a consulting call at 12, and it is 11.07, and I have stuff scheduled to do prior to the call. Um, and I'm over 
over here messing with you guys. <laughs> I don't really have time to do a whole foundation routine. Um, and when that happens, I cheat. I use um, concealer, believe it or not. I will put concealer on the important parts of my face and call it a motherfucking day. First, you gotta pluck the hairs that don't belong there. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is really just brightening up my under eye and I use the Fenty Beauty concealer to um, cover my breakouts and scars. I used the two different shades because I want the NARS one to actually brighten my under eye area. However, I don't want to look too ghostly anywhere else, so I'll use the Fenty Beauty concealer everywhere else. You're probably thinking, if you're putting the concealer all over your face, why not just use the foundation? You might be right, but for me, using concealer only feels quicker. And I'm telling you that I am no beauty guru. Since I know that looking yellow is a possibility, after applying the concealer only is I will use some Laura Mercier Medium Translucent Deep. If I'm doing all of that, you can bet your ass I'm highlighting. I highlight my cheekbones or lack thereof since I have become chunky down the bridge of my nose. There's horrible lighting in my bathroom by the way. You can probably see every divot of cellulite in my arms and every indentation on my face. But you're gonna see the full picture once we move out of this bathroom. Mascara is happening. For years and years and years, I've used Better Than Sex mascara. And then I think within the past year, Too Faced released Damn Girl. And since that came out, this is what I've been using. Do I see a complete difference? I don't know. I, no, I, if I don't know, then the answer is no. I do not see a complete difference. However, it is nice to have some new packaging. The lips that you guys see me wear in 99% of my videos, pretty much all of them uh, lately is the combination of these two liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. I've had them for so long, probably a disgustingly long time. As you can see, this one is like worn off. The, the, the design is worn off, but I've had them for so long that the shade is gone. Like I don't know what shade these are. This is my go-to, but for today, I just don't think that my face is done up enough to have liquid lipstick on. Um, and I'm, I'm probably gonna go for sweats or a very casual outfit, so I'm not gonna put that on. I'm just gonna put on my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Lip Gloss. This is the Gloss Balm that I use. It is the first shade that she ever released, Fenty Glow. All right, this is the finished look. Hmm, I told you. I told you it was gonna look different once I stepped outside of that horrible bathroom lighting. Like, look at it. Ew, I need to figure out how to change it. But 
this is what my face is looking like i'm about to go into my closet and try to find something appropriate to throw on over top these leggings and tank tops so that when i jump on my call and film this intro for you guys i look decent i guess i could wear this yeah this will be fine loki might wear it again tomorrow does it have pockets oh crap missed opportunity missed opportunity h&m put pockets in your cardigan Normally with this hairstyle, I don't typically like to wear it down the middle so much like this. I'll take two or three or four pieces and flip it over to one side. The client that I'm providing a consultation for this afternoon is from Queens. I love doing sessions with upcoming childcare providers in New York, especially like my local area, because I'm so familiar with the startup process and it always just reminds me of when I was first starting out. If you're interested in getting a consultation of your own to start up your own daycare program, definitely visit my website, dannychristine.com slash book dash Danny, or email me at info at dannychristine.com to schedule a consultation for yourself. I would love to meet you and hear your story and help you brainstorm strategies and ideas as you get ready to open your own child care business. So today I have um, a somewhat busier than normal day planned out. I have some work to do here in my home office in Philadelphia. I also have a consultation session to do in a few minutes from now actually. And then I have to take about a two and a half hour drive to New York. Um, because tomorrow is my program's staff development day. So basically what that means is our school is closed to children. No children will be in the program tomorrow. We are just going to be doing a very long staff meeting that includes some trainings and you know discussions about upcoming programs and events and stuff related to the company with our whole entire team. I have over 20 employees on my team in that one program so there's a lot of people to get on the same page and only a limited amount of time to do it so I have a lot that I need to prepare for today to get ready for tomorrow so i kind of just wanted to bring you guys along with me behind the scenes so that you can see what i might be doing on a busier than normal day where i'm not just working from home in my home office i also might meet a friend in manhattan to discuss a new business idea which i will probably not show i will not show on video um but that might be happening too. So let's get started. I always get so nervous before a call. I really don't know why. Um, I've done it plenty of times. Hello? Oh. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are, are you in your daycare space right now? Is that what's going on? Oh my goodness. That call went so good. <laughs> I. I genuinely, I really love helping people that are from my area. She's from Queens, that's where she's opening her program. And she said that she had been watching my videos for years and I inspired her to move forward with opening her program. And I just, I can't, I can't fathom. I can't fathom that. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> If I have inspired any of you that are watching this video to move forward with opening your own daycare program, please let me know in the comments below because it honestly makes my freaking day to hear somebody say that. Um, and I don't want to give her name away because I didn't ask her permission to talk about her. But if you're watching this video, girl, you know what it is. Thank you so much for saying those nice things about me and I wish you the best of luck during your startup process. I know that you are going to do extremely well in this business. 
My YouTube videos, typically nowadays, I schedule them for posting. Like I film in advance and edit in advance and then, you know, try to do batches of videos and stuff. And then I upload it to YouTube and schedule it to be published later. So I did that last night for the video that gets released today, which is Monday. And it just went up. 55 minutes ago at the time that I started my call um, So now I'm gonna check on that video to make sure that it's playing appropriately monetized correctly people um, are watching it and Check on my comments because I read my comments. So why don't you leave some down below for me to read? Also, during that call, we got a change of, change of plans. I am no longer going to Manhattan. I'm going to Jersey City. My life. My life right now. If you're wondering why I didn't eat anything yet, and it's the middle of the afternoon, it's because I didn't eat anything yet and it's the middle of the afternoon. Like this is my, this is my every day. When it's work mode time, like I just wake up and I'm ready to get into work. Whether I want to or not, I just feel like, okay, I know I have work to do today, let me do it. And once it's done, then I can eat and take care of myself. And I know that that's not, that makes no sense, it's not healthy, not advised, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. But that's just, I'm, I'm, I really struggle with trying to break out of that bad habit. Um, I've been trying to break out of it since I have moved here, uh, what is it, almost five months now? And I'm lacking motivation, to be real with you guys, I'm lacking motivation to do that. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what's going to get me motivated to start eating right and working out. Um, but maybe I'll bring you along the journey. Leave some suggestions below if you have any ideas on how I can become a better human being and take care of myself. It is 1.18 p.m. Oh no. It's 1.18 p.m. and the first thing that I'm about to eat for the day at all is a tasty cake chocolate chip cookie bar. Should it be a banana? Yeah. But my bananas are not ripe. Or they are ripe. Whatever the correct term is for the banana being ready to be eaten, it's not that. Around this time is usually when I'll grab an unhealthy snack, maybe try to make myself feel better by also having water and continue working my ass off. If I'm doing something that is just tedious, like either paperwork or transferring information or submitting claims or something like that, I'll listen to a podcast or watch a very long YouTube video. Right now I'm watching the Jenna and Julian podcast video. Is anyone else a fan of Jenna Marbles? She kind of just does her own thing nowadays. It is so good, or I'm just starving. I'm about to submit claims for the attendance for our kids that are approved to be in our care for social services. That usually takes like 10 to 15 minutes per day, and the submission claim period is usually 14 to 16, 17 days at a time. So sometimes it could take a couple hours for me to do. I started it yesterday on Sunday and I only have one day left to do. So I'm about to do that in the next 20 minutes while I listen to this podcast and then go through some emails and blah, 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 blah. He's falling off. No, oh my goodness. Is. No, he oh. isn't. He is. So it is now almost 530, which means that I am almost 30 minutes behind schedule. So 
just to give you guys a brief update on what's going on i have an outfit change because my business meeting plans are now dinner slash business meeting plans so i wanted to look somewhat decent um and i just thought that that cardigan was a little too frumpy and casual so i'm going to throw on this cute um trench coat that i have over this sweater and wear it with these leggings and possibly heels or well i need to up my shoe game so yeah probably just basic black heels that i know that i have so really quickly with this horrible lighting and filthy mirror this is my outfit of the night the experience right now i'm running with all this crap on the left side of my body because this is my overnight bag i'm gonna be sleeping at my dad's house in long island this is my purse these are some sneakers that i feel like i'm going to need because i won't want to wear these booties tomorrow this is my coke that i'm gonna drink on this um two to three hour drive right now and this is the jacket that I was telling you guys about. I got this zac this jacket. <laughs> I got this jacket on clearance um, over the summer at Zara, and I th it was like less than thirty dollars. Um, and I can tell it's going to be my new favorite go-to like fall and or springtime jacket. I have made it to my dad's house. It is now after midnight and I have six hours of sleep before having to wake up for my staff development day meeting in the morning. I'm currently in my childhood bedroom. It's very messy and I'm looking at the analytics and back end of my YouTube channel. I'm sleepy and I did not film everything that I wanted to film for you guys, and I'm sorry about that, but um, I uploaded a video. I'm staying consistent. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, then just, you know, pick any other video, watch that and like that one. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Danny X Christine. Good night.